everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Maggie if this is your first time stopping by I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click the notification bell come back and check out some of the other content I have on my channel I do a daily devotional every morning and it's been a while but I do have some plans to do some DIYs shop with me's hauls and that's what today is is a haul video from Dollar Tree now I did more shopping at Dollar Tree this weekend than I had even plans to do it but I had there were some things I've been having on my wish list items I mean items that were on my wish list come on Becky get it together it's you know what it is it's Sunday afternoon I'm relaxed uh I've been resting my husband and I went on a nice little beach walk with not really exercise but then it is because we're out on the beach walking it was just beautiful I love I love doing that and I'm just like let me get this uh haul done so I've got three bags, but wow, what's in these bags? Okay, I'm just going to grab at random the first one closest to me. These aren't sorted in any particular... Oh, okay. All right. First of all, it's a cleaning product. It's not a Dollar Tree product, and I love these. This is called Dapple Baby. It is a multi-surface disinfecting spray. It kills 99.9% .9 of germs kills cold and flu viruses three in one cleans deodorizes and disinfects fresh citrus fragrance no harsh chemicals and powered by hydrogen peroxide so citrus fragrance i got one for myself and one for my daughter um who has baby nora my daughter hannah who's nora's mommy dapple baby i know they're looking for some uh, really cute. This I was thrilled to see. I got the cute little snowman mug with the nose. Last year, the mugs like this did not have this nose. It was a painted on carrot, and I have that somewhere. A couple of years ago, this was there, and every time I buy one of these, it disappears. Please don't ask me how or where it goes, but it disappears. So I bought me another one, and I'm going to watch this one like a hawk. But this is a nice, full. does it tell how many ounces on here? This is at least 20 ounces. I'm just going to say 16 to 20. That's a nice, big, fat mug, okay? Love this little snowman mug. So cute for $1.25. I just love it. Oh, and then these <clears throat> blind bags. These are by Mattel, and there's three different types. They are accessory packs. Let me see. Fashion accessories. So we have put that there. There's a an Elsa one. Ariel. And Tiana. And I'm just going to open these right here. I don't know if you get all or just one of those accessories shown on the front, but let's look and see. And I don't know if these would, oh, you get all of it. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Wow. Okay. Here's a purse. Shoes. And it looks like it fits the new dolls. I'm so glad they're doing this. This is the Tiana pack, the crown, and the uh, necklace. Wow. So these are for the new princess dolls. I'm thrilled for $1.25. And those feet, they, see the shoe? That's not a normal Barbie foot. That's for the princess feet that now come on the Mattel dolls. All right. All right. Let's look at Ariel. My granddaughter has these dolls. I've got them all at the thrift store. She doesn't have Tiana, but she does have Ariel and she does have a couple. She has a couple of Ariels, actually. I think one of them has the original kind of foot. And you know what? Okay, that didn't work. 
you guys, this is just unbelievable. Okay, here's the aerial. Once again, a pretty, this is so cute because look, it's got like, it's like a seashell heel. Do you see that? I love it with the scallop on the front. And then the seashell crown, the clamshell purse, and the little shell necklace. You guys, these are darling stocking stuffers. Oh my goodness. And then let me open this Elsa one. She got Elsa in her Easter basket because the one she had, I can't remember what was going on with it. Oh my gosh, these are so great. I'm I'm stunned. I'm shook that they have an ex This is the kind of thing we have needed for a while. Thank you, Mattel listening here's a cute little purse with the snowflake on it and if you wanted to make that pop you can just get some paint paint over it with silver or something like that because it's standing out um, here's the crown or the headband snowflakes this is the choker that's cute and then her shoes look at these they are just darling. Look at that. Wow. Good job, Mattel. Good job. Then there was this surprise pack. There was only one. And these, I'm highlighting these now because <clears throat> Christmas is 13 Saturdays away. Yikes. Time to pick up things like this to throw into the stockings or little gift baskets or little things that you're putting together for the children, little girls in your life. So let's open this one. It's called Glam Pack and on the back it looks like there's like hair clips or lip gloss. And it looks, oh, this is cute. It's a lip gloss, but it looks like a purse. How darling is that? And I'm sure it opens some way. Yep, it does. It opens. And then there's the little lip gloss. But other than that, it looks like a purse. And then once the lip gloss is all used up, you could paint it to look like whatever you want. But that is adorable. Oh, I love it. Okay, so that was bag number one. You see why I couldn't walk out of that store? I have not seen, I got two of each, I have not seen these fashion packs anywhere. I didn't even know these existed until I saw them. I honed in on them and I was like, what? What the what? What? Okay. Second bag. All right. I bought some zip ties. I use these in crafting and my hubby uses these around the house. So obviously that's... Nothing extra fun or special. I just put that in my craft accessories. I did pick up some floral moss. I am repairing this for my mother. She loves elephants. And there are spaces where we don't have um, pieces. When it fell, I tried to gather as much as I could. Some of them may have been shattered. So I've got you know, some rocks here that I might, you know, glue into place to cover up that gap. But I thought back here I could glue the moss. And so I'm going to see how that works. It's, it, I think it'll be okay. She loves this statue. Thank goodness the elephants themselves weren't damaged. It was just the little pieces on the base. So I got that for that. I did get daddy pig in the peppa pig character figure uh series we did not have daddy pig so he's going to be added to the group there's two mommies in there now but uh, it shows you on the back it comes in the collection and these are the right size for all the little peppa pig accessory packs the house the little carnival i mean they have such cute little things so if your little ones really love peppa pig this is a good price for a figure because in Walmart, in the little plastic thing that looks like a bus or something like that, you're paying three or four dollars for just one figure plus the plastic 
a buck 25 and you get to see who you get see those are mystery packs and you don't know who or what you're getting so um that's really good he completes the the little peppa pig collection there i did pick up this beautiful and i looked and i saw that i already have this quad but i'm that's going into a stocking it's by flower and it's in the silver packaging that's why i don't want to take it out but it's got a, a really nice you can see the neutral kind of there these these have a little purple cast to them these are on the purple side and these are on the brownish pink side very this is right up my alley i knew when i saw it i was just like oh my gosh so yeah that's beautiful and you never know don't pass by these silver bagged things because there are name brand products. Maybe they're changing the shape of the packaging. Maybe they're moving into a new season and these are leftovers from the previous season, whatever it is. They're getting rid of them to bring in the new stuff and they're gorgeous, just gorgeous. And then I found these Harry and David K cups, four in a pack, okay? The flavor and I had some this morning. I got six boxes, and so I opened a box this morning. It's the Northwest Blend Hazelnut Praline and Cinnamon. Prior to this, all I was able to find of the Harry and David K-Cups was the Vanilla Creme Brulee, which is fantastic. Now, if you're making up gift baskets, hostess back baskets for when you're invited to someone's home for a holiday gathering, or even just making co-worker baskets, getting our little mug, putting a box of these in here and maybe some biscotti or something to make little co-worker gifts or something. I mean, come on, you're paying three or four dollars and it's a very inexpensive way. Teacher gifts, if you know your teacher, your daughter, your children's teachers love coffee. This is just such a great way to just throw together a bunch of inexpensive things and Bargain Bethany, I love her channel. Um, she, I was just watching something she put out last year, 75 gift basket ideas. And one of, and all of them are just with Dollar Tree items. She wound up getting like baskets from the thrift store. So she really encourages you to do that. And you can get an excellent deal on those. But with 13 Saturdays away from being Christmas, we need to start thinking and putting those things together now. Plus, get some for yourself, because I always love having delicious flavored coffee for my guests. When anyone comes over, I want them to just, you know, have whatever it is they want or need for, you know, their refreshment. And I think that's it for this bag, because it's just more boxes of these. So let me move that aside. i got to get those downstairs. And this is the last bag, y'all. I was blown away. The last thing I'm going to show you is, is the top wish list item. First thing on the list, I got some Dum Dum lollipops. My These are so cute. And I got them to put inside my pumpkin from the previous haul. Uh, my granddaughter loves lollipops. And I have kids in my Sunday school class that also love lollipops. So I'm going to fill this pumpkin and bring it with me when I teach next week. And this is just, you know, this is a fun, I'm that kind of person who, and I may need to get another bag. You see what I mean? I'm the kind of person who loves having things like this around so that if I do have guests come over, I can offer their child a lollipop on the way out, you know? And if I'm having a party, I have dishes with candy in it for people to help themselves you know, during gatherings and stuff. Obviously, this one will have a... Oops. Oh, I'm so professional. <laughs> I just blow my mind. But, um... Yeah, I thought two bags might be... I could probably get some more in there, but I'm just going to leave it at the two. And then I've got some lollipops I can take with me or just leave out for any guests that come by. They can get a... A lollipop at Christmas time. I have candy canes all over my Christmas tree. So anyone who comes in and child goes over and I say, you can have a candy cane, go right ahead. You know, if mommy and daddy says it's okay. <laughs> okay. And I get the peppermint, which <clears throat> here again with the hiccups. Um, I get peppermint. My granddaughter loves the peppermint traditional. <sighs> 
the traditional candy canes. Why do I hiccup when I get on camera? I don't know. But um, I also usually have some kind of, you know, like uh, Skittles flavored. You know, they have those nice, delicious, tangy, fruity ones. I get some of those too because I don't, the fruit flavored candy canes in the past have just been like sugar with a, a fruit flavoring, but no tanginess to it. If it's fruit flavored, I want the tang. I want a little bit of sourness to it, you know, and or peppermint. You know, those are the ones I like. Okay. I have been looking everywhere for these. Now, these right here, these are so, this is a bath soap pouch. This part here opens up. You pull this back. And then you can see that this part here opens up and you put your bar of soap inside. This is also great if your soap gets down to slivers. It's a great way to just put them all in here and you can get full use out of them. You're not throwing away those little slivers of soap. That's great. But this also exfoliates. So putting your regular spa soap and whatever, whatever soap you have in here and you're using it to scrub... Oh my gosh, it lathers in seconds. I mean, the minute you get it wet and start rubbing, it's it's lathering and you get a nice rich lather. So I grabbed about six of these for stocking stuffers because, you know, I mean, I got so many. I may have gotten seven. Okay. Yeah, these are going in stockings. Like I said, I'm getting, I'm starting to get some things ready or if I want to put together a spa basket for someone, you can go get them one of those artisan soaps. I have a sister-in-law who has an Etsy channel, and she makes the, the most wonderful body butters and soaps. And, I mean, she just does such a great job. I'll, If I remember, I'll link it below. Um, what is the name of her? This is awful. This is terrible. I just don't even remember the name of it. But uh, so good. Or whatever favorite soap you have. Buff City Soaps is one in... Um, um, it's not Edenton, North Carolina. It's where Pepsi was born, that city. Um, Buff City Soaps is another one that does it, or your local, someone who has goat, goat milk soap, whatever it is. Uh, you can put that in here, and it'll lather up in this right here. It's soft. It's not abrasive, but there's enough exfoliant in there to get that dead skin off. So there's that. Excellent. Okay. Then, let me see what else is in here. Oh. I got another one of these honey nudes. I have several of these that are going to go into stockings, but I wanted another one for myself. So there's that. It's my favorite. I love that. Okay. I also picked up another Essentially Ageless. Uh, this is Hydrating Serum Foundation. I don't wear foundation that often. This is in the light to medium. I really hope that Be Pure expands the palette of this line because they have light to medium and then medium to deep. That's it. They just have two shades. This came out last year, last year around this time. This is a really good, they're essentially ageless. They have a blush, they have lipstick, they have this, they have concealer, they have all kinds of stuff. I just wish they would expand the color line and kind of, you know, give us a few more options there. But this is a really good serum. So I grabbed me another one. Because when I do wear foundation, I want it to be that. Okay, now you guys know the little capsules from Be Pure that I've gotten before. I've done, I just did a restock of them. They're the cream colored ones and cute little capsules and you pinch and twist them off, squeeze it into your hand and that's enough oil and, and serum to cover your face, your neck and the backs of your hands. It blows me away how far that little tiny bit spreads. Well, on this last trip, I found, now, the main ingredient in those capsules, the ones that are kind of cream and ivory colored, is niacinamide. I found a new capsule, hyaluronic acid. These are all anti-aging. This helps. Now, the niacinamide brightens your complexion. Hyaluronic acid reduces the appearance of aging. Yeah, this girl is using this tonight. I don't... Let me put this correctly. I don't look down on anybody who goes in for plastic surgery. I don't. Do you? Okay. And I mean, in that, in that respect. Uh, I'm too afraid to do selective surgery that could lead to a disaster. Okay. Um, I'm going to do everything within my power 
to keep my skin as healthy as I can. So that means staying out of the sun, you know, some other things, um, anything that I can do that exfoliates, that does, because your things are going to happen the way they happen, but I want to do it gracefully. Okay. I am thankful for plastic surgeons because if I ever got into an accident that required some kind of reconstructive something, I'd want a doctor who knows what he's doing. Okay. <laughs> but when it comes to normal stuff, I can wash my face and use the stuff they put out there. So I got me four of these and I'm going to try these and see if it makes a difference. These I use at night. And when you use any kind of a serum after you wash your face first with cleanser, you rinse. I just use flat out witch hazel. I don't use anything else, just regular witch hazel. Then you do a serum. Then you would do your moisturizer. Okay. And whether the serum's in the bottle or whether it's in a capsule, you do that. And then after that, you can do your eye cream as well. So here's, here's this. Now I've been on the hunt for this. Y'all have heard me talk about it. You've heard me say I'm looking for it in my, uh, in my shop with me. So I've gone to look for it and I finally found it. And if you saw the shop with me, you know what I'm saying. This is the Be Pure Dupe for Ole Regenerist. Do you know how expensive Ole Regenerist is? It's expensive. This is a lot. Four ounces. This is more than we get from the Global Beauty uh, Lift and Smooth and the the Vitamin C skincare line, which are fantastic. I've been using them. They come in and I mean... I. I don't know if you guys can see you, you know, but this is the only Regenerous Regenerating Cream Cleanser. Oh my gosh. Okay. It says it cleanses and gently exfoliates for smoother skin, paraben free, thiolate free, four fluid ounces. Apply the cleanser to a, to damp skin and massage into your skin with your fingertips, rinse and pat your skin dry. Anti-aging ingredients such as vitamin E, C and B5 to help revitalize your skin's texture. Day and night, rich and creamy formula infused with the anti-aging. This product is not manufactured or distributed by Procter & Gamble, owner of the registered trademark Olay. They're covering themselves, but I mean, here is the hydrating moisturizer. And here is the hydrating night cream. And I love that they're giving us both of these. There's 1.36 ounces of the night cream and 1.36 ounces of the moisturizer. And I am probably going to go back and get two more of these. But, you know, I try to be a thoughtful consumer. And if I see something I like, I don't clear the shelf if there's an abundance. If there's only one or two left, okay, I'm sorry. They're going home with me if it's something I want. But if there's an abundance... I am not going to clear the shelves and there's no point, but I was thrilled to find this so thrilled. And so it's, it's worth a shot to try it. And I recommend using all the pieces that are in a skincare line because they're designed to work together. So anyway, that's it. That's my haul. I just dropped something, my lipstick. Okay. Oh boy, how many times did you see me bend over to pick something up? Actually, you didn't see me. You saw me disappear. But anyway, that's it. I hope you guys are finding these things in your own Dollar Tree stores. It thrills me. Remember, get your brain in the space planning ahead for the holidays, okay? I've We all know if you've shopped at Dollar Tree, if you see it now and you have an inkling that you might consider getting that for somebody, just get it. Just get it and set it aside. It, you won't be ha you won't be upset about it. You'll be very happy, even if you change your mind and decide to get it for somebody else. I can't tell you how many times my girls have come over and or I've needed a gift last second, and I'm able to go into my. Uh, not that I hoard. Gosh, it sounds so much like I hoard. I don't hoard, but I do stock up. So there's a difference. But anyway. Um, Comment below. Let me know what you're finding in your stores. And I hope you guys uh, come back tomorrow morning and join me for devotions. Bye until next time.